Hey guys, uh, today we'll be uh, checking out the Ishin VR011 or 011. Um, my older uh, goggles stopped working. I had the uh, Vision Plus FEV goggles. I had them for, uh, man, I don't know, about a year, year and a half, something like that. And um, I'm not sure what happened, but the screen just would not work, so. Uh, maybe I'll start tinkling with it and see if I got it working. Anyways, getting off track here. Um, we're here to take a look at the these goggles. Um, just got them in the mail yesterday. Haven't had a chance to open them, so we'll check them out now. Here we go. So it comes in a box. Just plain white box. Uh, take the sleeve off, open the box, and this is what you'll find inside. Uh, the goggles themselves, of course. Uh, I thought only the pre-order, the pre-order ones would come with the Pro DVR, but um, I was surprised to see these came with the actual goggles. So I already had another one from my previous goggles, so now I now I have an extra one, which I guess is always good to have. So it comes with everything you need. It comes with the uh, uh, DVR. It comes with the cables to connect from the DVR into your goggles for recording. Um, it comes, they even include this rigged video out so you can connect it into your video in on your goggles so you can watch your playbacks on that. Um, comes with a dial, uh, pose antenna, comes with two of them. Um, they work pretty good. I will eventually switch them out for some better cloverleaf antenna eventually maybe a patch since it does have diversity uh, diversity receiver in it uh, i went ahead and installed the thick foam pad just from previous experience i know that i'd rather have the thin one but it includes two you can always double them up if you need to thin one thick one it even comes with a piece for your nose and i did try this earlier and there is the slightest light leak um, from these vents, even though they have this little foam in there, light still leaks through there. Um, so I think I'm gonna do is cut some of this foam and replace those since it's thicker. It'll still let some air in, um, but it'll block the little light, a little bit of light that does, does come in through the bottom. <clears throat> uh, let's see. You get a manual, which is pretty easy to follow for the goggles here um, not really much to it <coughs> walks through uh, talks about short presses on a button and what they do uh, how to put it on strapping the battery um, disconnecting or detaching the screen from the actual goggles so you can put them on a stand uh, gives you some specs there and it goes into detail as to how to move through the menus um, within the goggles themselves. So, side. It also comes with the Pro DVR instruction manual, which I haven't even looked at, but it um that's pretty it's pretty easy to use, and we'll go through it here in a minute. Uh, give you some. Wipes, double stick tape, I'm assuming it's for the DVR, I don't know, I don't know why it kind of, if friction fits pretty snug in there, but I guess if you want to secure it, you can always put double stick tape on there. Uh, some extra cables, video cables, and a battery strap. So it's nice to include a little, a couple of few extra things in there, oh, and a battery, and this is a 1200 milliamp battery. Um, it says LiPo, but I don't know if I, I'm buying that these are LiPos or not. But at any rate, I have not tested this to see how long it lasts yet since I just opened these, but I will, um, I'm sure I'll be mentioning in the next few flight videos when I try the goggles out. It's a um, 7.4 volt. High discharge lithium polymer battery says 1200 uh, MAAs. So, all right, let's get to uh, 
plug in this thing in and see what it looks like. I guess it would help if I have if I have a camera to test it with. So let's just grab this little uh, Fly Egg 100. Be testing it with that, I guess. All right, so it does come with a battery strap in the back of the uh, goggles goggle strap here. We'll slide that in there. It's a pretty snug fit too. Hopefully it doesn't stretch out too much where it doesn't hold the battery again. So, all right, let's plug this bad boy. You know what? I'll uh, get a better view. What I'll do is I'll detach it and detaches by moving the screen forward. Move the screen forward. I mean upwards, and it detaches. So we'll move this part aside, and we'll just work with the screen. Let's plug it in, and there we go. Well, as you can see, I got everything already plugged in, so I'm gonna turn this light off. Maybe we'll get a better look. Yeah. So, as you can see, it's already powered up. We have a uh, cable going from the um, into the from the DVR into the goggles, which will record whatever is whatever is on the screen. Obviously, um, then we have the cable that was included video out from the DVR into the video in plug, which is on this side of the goggles. So you got color, adjust, which changes your camera. Um, this um, by default came into PAL, so I had to go in the menu, camera menu, and change that to um, NTSC for my camera. Uh, it'll, it'll otherwise flicker, it'll start flickering, you won't really see a good video. OSD menu function which is brightness and all that contrast you can reset it display ratio signal icon all that stuff and then back to color now here we have a uh, mode and quit button that's how receive to quit this whatever menu you're in and mode mode goes from regular receiver screen into video in and obviously you can see that it shows a timer for the DVR. It shows um, mic, which it does have audio and memory card. And you, you got the little logo there for the for the video. Now, like I mentioned before, it does have you can do you do have playback on here, and uh, way to do that is uh, once you plug it in, video in you let's see if I remember this press the back arrow and hold it down and it'll say one moment and then it'll show you how many videos you have on there and it shows I have seven videos I don't remember doing all those I did have a trial though and you just move the use the arrows back and back and forth to move from one video to the other it does record HD as well believe I recorded in uh, a VGA and there it is and this is just a little quick trial video I did earlier um, you once you get the video you want you press the square the middle button and it'll start playing if you press the up arrow it fast forwards it goes from forward times one which is normal press it once it goes to two again it goes to four and it goes and then it goes to eight so you can see it's going times eight if you press it again it goes to regular and if you press the bottom it goes backwards press the square to stop and you hold hold the middle middle button there the square button to go into the menu you can delete that you can adjust the uh, volume uh, if you hold the middle button again from that menu goes to the setup menu um, you format your card you can change your language light 
um, reset. So I'll put, you change all that on there. And to exit, I believe you just hold it down again. And so let's scan. Just hold the scan button for about two seconds. And you can see a scan in there. It shows your channel there. Bands. And searching, searching, searching. And this camera doesn't have OSD, or otherwise you will be able to see that on here. Oh, there you go. So, I'm not sure how well you guys can see that, but it's pretty clear. What I'll do is I'll record this in the DVR, and I will add it to the video for now. So let's go ahead and record. Right arrow or forward arrow, and you can see it goes from solid to blinking. That means it's recording.